of an amazing adventure in science. I am Teacher Riza, your grade 7 science teacher of Fatima National High School. Come and join us as we learn the amazing world of science. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Before we continue, make sure you have your pen, paper, and your self-learning module. Let us first have a short recap of our lesson last week. This was about the sexual and asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction has one individual or parent that produces offspring that is genetically identical to itself. While sexual reproduction is the production of new organisms by the combination of genetic information of two individuals of different sexes. Our objectives for today's lessons are Number 1. Define abiotic and biotic components of ecosystem. Number 2. Identify abiotic and biotic components of ecosystem. And number three, cite the importance of abiotic and biotic components of ecosystem. And now, let's go deeper to the biotic and abiotic components of ecosystem. Ecosystem is made up of living things and non-living things. An ecosystem may contain many habitats where organisms obtain their food, water, shelter, and other things in order to live, grow, and reproduce. Biotic components are the living parts of an ecosystem. The term biotic is formed by the combination of two terms, bio meaning life, and ik meaning like. Thus, the term means lifelike and is related to all the living entities present in an ecosystem. The presence of biotic components and their biological byproducts affects the composition of an ecosystem. Biotic resources include all living organisms from animals and humans to plants, fungi, and bacteria. Biotic factors comprising the ecosystem include humans, animals, insects, birds, plants, worms, bacteria, and viruses. The interactions between various biotic factors are necessary for the survival and reproduction of each species. Abiotic components are the non-living parts of an ecosystem. The term abiotic refers to the non-living entities in the ecosystem. Sunlight, water, land, and temperature all constitutes to the abiotic factors. Other abiotic factors comprising the ecosystem include climate, humidity, precipitation, wind, altitude, type of soil, light, water, oxygen or carbon dioxide. Abiotic factors are the non-living, physical, and chemical factors that influence an ecosystem. Try to enhance your knowledge on the interdependence among biotic and abiotic components within an ecosystem in this first activity. For instruction, complete the table below by giving three examples of abiotic and three biotic components for each ecosystem. Answer the questions that follow. Place your answer on a separate sheet of paper. 
Question number one. Are the living things found in one ecosystem the same with what you found in other ecosystems? Cite an example. Question number two. What can be found in an ecosystem? Question number three. Can you consider a flower pot an ecosystem? Why? Way to go, class! The biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem work hand-in-hand -in -hand and interact with each other to maintain balance in our environment. Without the abiotic components, biotic living things cannot survive. Organisms both depend on the biotic and abiotic factors in their environment. Take a look at this picture. What are the different biotic components that you can identify? That's correct! These are the animals and the plants. How about the abiotic components? You are right! These are the sun, clouds, air, rocks, water, temperature, and soil. That was fun! <laughs> Human beings are one of the biotic components of an ecosystem, and they depend from plants for food because they're not capable of producing their own. Animals and human beings are alike in many ways. They are also biotic components that compose the ecosystem and help sustain the needs of other living organisms. Animals get food from the ecosystem such as plants, insects, and mammals alike, as well as the other forms of prey. Plants and grasses are also part of the biotic components of an ecosystem. They provide food and other important elements like oxygen to humans and animals. They also become source of shelter and other materials in the ecosystem. Bacteria and decomposers are also biotic components that help break down the remains of other living organisms converting them into nutrient found in the soil. A biotic component of an ecosystem refers to its non-living or physical environment. The physical environment is influenced by different factors such as water, sunlight, oxygen, temperature, soil, air, minerals, and nutrients. Water Water is one of the most important abiotic factors that carry life to all living things. It covers the largest part of the world such as the ocean, rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water which are considered the habitats of marine organisms. It is a component that completes the process of food making in plants which known as photosynthesis. Sunlight Sunlight is another necessary abiotic factor in an ecosystem. It plays a vital role in photosynthesis in order for the plants to sustain the production of food for other living organisms. Without this factor, few organisms will be able to survive. Oxygen Oxygen is also an abiotic factor produced by plants that support breathing among humans and animals. It helps decompose decaying matters around us. Temperature Temperature, which is either hot or cold, determines the kind of living organisms that can survive in a certain place. Soil Soil is an abiotic factor where the plants grow and live. 
It contains rock fragments and nutrients coming from the remains of decaying bodies. It is also a home for different microorganisms and living organisms like plants. Minerals or nutrients Such as vitamins and proteins from the soil are abiotic factors needed by plants and animals for their growth. Air Air in the atmosphere is comprised of gases needed for the growth and development of organisms. An example of this is the carbon dioxide which is needed by plants for food production and oxygen which is a gas needed by humans and animals for respiration. And for the last activity, follow these instructions. For instruction, differentiate biotic from abiotic components of an ecosystem in terms of meaning, factors, and functions. Use the Venn diagram as shown below. Place the similarities at the center and the differences at the opposite circles of the diagram. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. Describe the differences between biotic and abiotic components in terms of A. Meaning B. Factor C. Function Question number 2. Do you think both biotic and abiotic components are important to the ecosystem? Support your answer. That's amazing! Great job! Thank you for joining me today in our amazing adventure in science. I hope you have learned new things today. This has been Teacher Riza. See you in our next episode.